How do you lift a load when the weight is not evenly distributed? Lifting an off-center load incorrectly can be extremely dangerous. In this video, we'll explain how to safely lift an off-center load. My name is Ben, and this is the Lifting and Rigging Channel. Today, we're in Rockford, Illinois, at Caldwell Lifting Solutions headquarters to learn how to safely lift an off-center load. Dan Mongan, Caldwell's senior sales engineer, will show us how to lift a load that is heavier on one side than the other. So, let's get into it. Well, if you look at this piece of fiberglass tube, we can easily determine that the center of gravity or its balance point you know, would be directly in the middle. So if I was to lift this from each end, it's, it's understandable that each end is sharing the load evenly and it would lift level. So that's a, that's a centered center of gravity. But if we look at this object here, so the center of gravity is not gonna be exactly in the middle because there's, there's more weight to this side. So if we were to lift in the same manner as we lifted this, this would tilt. That could be very dangerous in the lifting um, process. Uh, it could put loads into the, the lifting device that it's not designed for. It could literally slip out of the rigging or as it, as it comes off of the ground or wherever it's resting, it could make an uncontrolled movement uh, that's not expected in, in you know, hit somebody or some, something like that. So there's a lot of different things that could happen if we make a lift and not pay attention to the center of gravity. I've got some weight here on each end and I'm just representing the fact that it's a balanced center of gravity. The center of gravity is in the middle. We've got equal load on each end and, and it stands to reason that it hangs level. I will say that in reality not everything is perfectly level so you can see there's a slight angle here caldwell would say that you know if it's within five degrees that's reasonable this is how we would lift with a lifting beam on a balanced center of gravity okay so now what we want to demonstrate is what's going to happen when we do have an offset center of gravity but our adjustments are still centered, right? Or the, where the attachment points would be centered. So to demonstrate this, I've put a much heavier clamp on this end than the other. And we're just gonna go ahead and make a lift and, and see what happens. So as you can see, we're obviously not level. So again, a lot of dangerous situations here. The, the loading in the lifter isn't correct. The load moved in a way that we didn't know where it was gonna go. Because of that, we've got to address where the center of gravity is. And uh, so now we're gonna go ahead and make some adjustments and show you how we can do this lift safely. Really, no matter what the lifting device is, no matter what's going on between the hook and the load, the key to this is getting the crane hook directly above the center of gravity. So that's, that's the golden rule, that's to how we simplify thinking through this. It's what do we do to get the crane hook over the center of gravity. So in order to, again, get the crane hook over the center of gravity, we want to move the crane hook closer to the heavier end. I've already made the adjustment. We originally had the shackle here. We've, we've moved it over to this hole. And then the shackle um, for this hook here was connected here, but now I've moved it inward. So I've done those things to move the center of gravity directly uh, under the crane hook. So I'll go ahead and make a lift and we'll see what happens. So as you can see, it's much more level. It isn't exactly level. You know, again, there's some tolerance there. We're within five degrees, that's reasonable. But again, that proves that, hey, we've made adjustment to address center of gravity. Therefore, we can make a safe lift. Center of gravity, lots of time isn't known. 
and it's going to be as simple as making test lifts. When I was setting this up, that's exactly what I was doing. I was doing test lifts to determine, hey, where should I position these shackles to create a level lift? At the beginning of the lift, you just barely raise up a couple inches. Maybe just one end comes off the ground, the other one stays on the ground. And then you'd identify, hey, that ends the lighter end. This ends the heavier end. So let's make an adjustment. You may make this adjustment, I don't know, four, five, six times in some cases until you've proven, hey, it's going to lift level and we can now make the lift uh, safely. This is Caldwell's Model 17. It's, it's slightly different in that it has what we call a plate bale for the crane to connect to. And uh, it has a detent pin that's used to move its position. And then on the ends, kind of a similar idea in which there's a detent pin that allows me to move this lug left or right. So that allows us to adjust for spreads and center of gravity. So in the same uh, manner that we did before, we've got a lighter clamp. It's kind of hidden right now behind the table and a heavier clamp just representing an off center of gravity. So we're going to go ahead and make a test lift. And we noticed that, wow, you know, this end is much heavier than that end. So we're gonna go ahead and rest the beam back down. And then we're gonna make an adjustment and see how it works. So I'm just gonna move the bale over to the next adjustment, put the pin in place. And then I'll go ahead and make another lift and, and we'll see where we're at. Yeah, so as you can see, the beam is within that five degree uh, tolerance that we mentioned earlier, and we're making a level lift. So I just thought I'd talk about some simple rigging uh, methods of adjusting for center of gravity. This is a chain sling. It could be connected directly to the load, you know, maybe on each end like we talked about earlier. Or maybe it's, uh, it's a chain sling that's on a spreader beam that's, a, that's designed to accommodate uh, this adjustment I'm going to show you. But it can be as simple as just using this grab hook and shortening one chain leg. So when you do that and you make a test lift, it's moved the crane hook above the center of gravity of the load so you can make a level lift. This is Caldwell's adjust a leg. It really does the same thing as I demonstrated with the chain sling in that it helps you adjust for center of gravity. You make a test lift with the sling, you know, centered on the adjust the leg assembly, and you determine, uh, hey, it's, you know, needs to be adjusted to the left. So you lower the crane and you move the bale assembly and the wire rope, changing the length of each leg, and then make your lift in a balanced condition. The other really important thing to think about with center of gravity is where it is located height-wise in relationship to where your rigging connects to. So if you connect to the top of, let's say, a table, you know it's going to be a very stable lift because the center of gravity is somewhere below the top of the table. But if you connect way down towards the legs of the table, it's very unstable. It could roll one way or the other. So one of the most important things to know is where is the height of the center of gravity in relationship to where you connect? That can be a really, really concerning uh, lift situation. And we really need to take the time to think through how do we make that lift stable? What you need to do first as a rigger or a crane operator is just kind of look at the load and think about you know, what's the chance that the center of gravity is on center or is it gonna be a real issue, right? And then you're gonna to have to take the steps that we've talked about, test lifts, identify some type of rigging that can, can allow you to get the crane hook over the center of gravity. The goal is, is really simple. It's, it's 
I've got to get the crane hook directly above the center of gravity of the load. No matter what the rigging is going on in between. It could be a lifting beam, could be a spreader beam, could be an adjust a leg. If you got the crane hook over the center of gravity, the lift's gonna be level. If you want more information or you're looking for some help planning a lift, then you can contact Caldwell or Mozilla's Lifting and Rigging Division. The links are in the description below. If you think we missed something or you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments and Dan or I will find you an answer. I hope after watching this video, you feel confident that you can correctly find the center of gravity for whatever you need to lift and you now know how to lift it evenly. If you found this video useful, informative, entertaining, or you just feel like being friendly, then hit that like button so we can get this information out to everyone who needs it. Subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss a video. My name is Ben, and I'll see you in the next one.